Hello, Internets. Today I've got a quick first impressions review of these Skinner's barefoot shoe things. I'm Charlie Hudson, and you are watching Reanderthal. For many years, since middle school, I think, I had been telling people that I preferred shoes which were more like socks. So when the Vibram Five Fingers came out, I quickly got myself a pair, and I found that I really didn't end up wearing them that much. When I'm at home and the season permits, I pretty much do everything barefoot. and when I'm going into town, I usually don't want to wear something that looks like a goofy aqua sock. So while I very much believed in the shoes like socks idea, I ended up wearing a lot of different things. Most of my budget this year has been going to travel and workshops. So I didn't really have uh, the disposable income to be spending on shoes. But when these Skinners came across my radar on Kickstarter, they fit the shoes like socks bill a little too perfectly to pass up. Uh, so I, I had to back them. So they finally arrived in the mail yesterday. And I've put them through uh, a few different paces. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with how they've done. So first, I'll just describe these. Um, they really feel like wearing socks. They're a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit stronger stretch um, than most of the socks I wear. There is a little bit of something on the bottom here. So they're kind of like socks with just a little bit of oomph. But, but really, when you're wearing them, it feels like you're wearing socks, which I love. Um, the first place I took these, actually, I had to run to town. I ran to the supermarket. So I mentioned before that I found Vibram Five Fingers were like wearing goofy aqua socks. These are also like wearing aqua socks, but they're kind of discreet aqua socks. And I found, um, you know, I wore them, I ran to the grocery store. Um, for a second, I was a little bit self-conscious, but that was more because I was carrying a GoPro shooting my feet. Um, I don't think anybody took a second look at my shoes. And um, yeah, it was kind of funny because thinking about it later, I'm used to walking around on hard surfaces in socks, like hardwood floors. Um, so it's not a new feeling, but I'm not used to walking around a grocery store in socks. Like It just felt like I was getting away with something. It was great. It was comfortable. If you, if you don't mind walking around hardwood floors on socks, um, then you know why not go to the store? Um, do you really need the support? Uh, then this morning, I was doing some yard work. I was hauling some brush up a hill, and I was digging a hole in the yard. And they were perfectly fine. Now, of course, these are things that I have done and would normally do barefoot, except it's mid-November now and the ground is a little bit cold. So I'm not saying this is going to be right for everyone, but if you're used to doing things barefoot, then this won't be that different. They do give pretty good grip. You can see the rubber material on the bottom. Um, it seems like the uh, nerdily surface of an artificial track. I do wonder whether some of these nurdles are going to come off over time. You'll see a bunch of dirt stuck in here between the nurdles. They do seem to pick up more dirt than regular shoes, 
So these are something that you're definitely going to want to take off, I think, at the door when you come inside. You're not going to want to walk around the house with these on or you'll be dropping a big trail of dirt behind you. They grip really well in general, uh, although you might find they grip a little bit differently than other footwear. It seemed to me uh, like walking around um, on hard flat surfaces uh, like at the store or in the house, they almost gripped more than regular shoes. Um, whereas, as I found with some other barefoot shoes, um, really flexible shoes, some slippery surfaces outdoors, uh, like leaves on top of flat rocks, um, you know, I haven't tested these on ice, but it may be the same thing. Um, they might slip a little bit more than some other shoes. But the nice thing with flexible footwear is that you can feel that happening really quickly and you can adjust. Uh, so you have that feedback. Because these are so thin and you do have so much foot in contact with the ground, you do conduct a little more heat into the ground. So when the ground is cold, your feet are going to feel a little bit colder. Uh, but on the other hand, because they flex so well, you're going to be flexing your feet and moving your feet, having the blood flowing. So it does balance itself out a little bit. Uh, but I don't really expect to be wearing these regularly in January. For hauling brush up the hill and moving wheelbarrows of earth, you do want traction. And I feel these did pretty well. Um, the moments where I did slip a little bit, you know, you feel it and you can react to that. Where I did slip a little bit was actually um, inside the sock. And I think that's partly because I was wearing liner socks. And that's because I didn't want to buy five pairs of these things. And I did already have a bunch of liner socks. So when you're really trying to push with your foot um, and there's some give in between your liner sock and um, the skinners, uh, I did slip a little bit. And I think that's in part because where the sort of rigidity of another shoe would only allow you to slide so far, these things are so flexible, you do have a little bit more give. That being said, I didn't slide really that much at all. It wasn't a, something that was going to cause me to fall, just something you feel slightly. And that's a totally acceptable consequence for me of wearing liner socks, which I think I'll continue to do. Another nice thing about the Skinners is that they're just so easy to slip on. I find myself tending towards slip-on shoes just for ease of use. Um, you know, it's a little bit of a pain to lace up shoes if you're in a hurry, or with five fingers to get your pinky toe into that last little crevice. The Skinners are just as quick and easy to put on as socks, and that's what they perform like, tough socks. If you're like me, and that's what you're looking for, then these may really fit the bill. Obviously, if you're looking for something with support, uh, you'll have to look elsewhere. Now, this is really just a first impressions review. I don't know how these are going to hold up over time, whether I will use them at all in the winter. So I'll plan to post more as I have more to say. But I hope this was helpful to some of you out there.